And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Dawn Powder, our next meme tier deck. So this deck is all about um, having Dawn Speakers with Powder Kegs. So, you know, you have your Powder Kegs in play. Powder Kegs die basically the turn you play them, right? Like they they get challenged because they're vulnerable. Um, you play some spell that blows them up. You know, it's, Powder Kegs die all the time. And so we're going to have the Powder Kegs dying being a boost for our dawn speakers because at the round end if we had an ally die like a powder keg die then all other allies get plus one plus one permanently so that's kind of the the uh um, combo of our deck we're also having the dawn speakers combined with monkey idol uh round start um you know you create a powder monkey and then the powder monkey uh dies no matter what uh, it's ephemeral and so since it's ephemeral it dies and then boom everything gets bigger with dawn speakers all right, so we need we need some so if that's like our kind of our uh, the main part of our deck, we need some some payoffs. So basically, if we want our um, powder kegs to die, we need ways for our powder kegs to actually die. So we have make it rain in here, and then we also have misfortune. So we're playing a misfortune deck. So whenever we attack, we do one to the battling enemies, and so the the powder kegs will die um, with the misfortune trigger. All right, also, misfortune for mis so then for misfortune, we want to be able to attack a lot of times in a turn. So we got like our grizzled rangers, our island navigators, and we got some other um, scouts over here as well, elm heart, razor scale hunter. So we got some scouts so we can attack multiple times a turn. Plus, if we're making our team pretty big with dawn speakers, it's nice to be able to attack with those big things multiple times a turn, right? Because I mean, they're just going to be pretty big. So that, that kind of fits as well. Um, besides that, we got Gangplank as our other champion, where Quinn may be a little bit better, but Quinn doesn't make powder kegs, and we're Dawn Powder. We need, we want to make powder kegs, so Gangplank makes some powder kegs, um, leveled up gang, Gangplank can make some more, and leveled up Gangplank keeps doing this ability. It's going to be kind of hard for us to level up Gangplank, but Monkey Idol does a good job of doing that. That's going to be our main uh, card to help us out there. And then finally, we have to, you know, if we're playing a meme tier deck in Demacia, we, we need our uh, Unyielding Spirits also at the top end. Unyielding Spirit can be on like our Misfortune to make sure it doesn't die. Same with the Gangplank, you know, you can put it on the Champions or you could put it on a Scout. And so then you get to attack multiple times a turn with like a Scout that keeps getting bigger with the Unyielding Spirit. Or you could put it on a monkey idol so it never dies. So you just keep on getting powder monkeys all the time. And, you know, your monkey idol is just never dying. Kind of the same thing. Keeping a dawn speakers from dying could be really nice. Or finally, maybe we just actually use the unyielding spirit on a powder keg. And the powder keg never goes away. And the powder kegs just keep stacking and never going away. Um, and uh, then all of our damage just keeps on adding up with, like, misfortune and that kind of stuff. So we got a lot of cool ways to use these unyielding spirits also. All right, so this is our deck, Dawn Powder. Um, we are going to need to change some of these. All right, where's our Dawn Powder deck? Here it is. We do not want to go to Shadow Isles. What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's go on over to Bilgewater with our Demacia and we'll use the Powder Monkey because, you know, Dawn Powder. And we're gonna go play five games and see how our meme tier deck does. <laughs> hey, body. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Okay, so we, I, I like how we have the attack token on turn two. I wanna keep this, where we can go deckhand on turn two and then we can play misfortune and attack and we can use the powder keg with the misfortune. And then we got Grizzled Ranger for turn four. Single combat if we need that. And if they play a two, you know, like they just pass the turn. If they play, if they want to play a two drop and kill my powder, that's fine. You want to play a vile feast on a powder, that's cool. So like our two drop just traded for their two mana card. But I guess we, we have a 2-2, two -two, they have a 1-1 one -one left. Yep, 
Yeah, hopefully we get to have like one game where we get to Unyielding Spirit, some barrels, some powder kegs. That'd be pretty awesome. Hopefully we at least have one game like that. I was kind of expecting Glimpse Beyond, to be honest. Oh no. I could see them wanting to play Withering Whale. I think I don't risk it. Like, I don't risk tapping out. I guess I could play Deckhand that doesn't tap out. Flea Feather Tracker would die. Um, if I play Deckhand, the Powder dies. I could also just end round, go straight to attacks and attack and everything. And challenge that and force their hand. Um, but then I single combat. Hmm. The good part about doing this right now is that we can potentially have two attacks next turn with Grizzled Ranger. So we'll have them use the Withering Whale now. Oh, a Vile Feast. Okay. Wow. Mega Rain hit Misfortune. Ouch. Ouch. The Healies? Where are you? Grizzled Ranger doesn't really match up against Hapless Aristocrat too well. Definitely save. I'm not gonna play Elm Hard this turn because I definitely need to save the mana. You know, save some kind of mana so I can Unyielding Spirit the next turn. Um, because I think I think I'm just gonna Unyielding Spirit the Gangplank. It's honestly probably better to Unyielding Spirit Genevieve Elmhart, isn't it? Like, Genevieve Elmhart would be a 4 4 with Challenger and Scout and just take out everything all the time. Maybe I just let Gangplank die. Like, think of being able to attack two times a turn with an Unyielding Spirit thing and also having. Challenger. Hmm. Do I look like a patient man? No, I'll just save game point. Bones 
a splinter. Got a surprise. And they block here, they take seven. Go down to nine. Speakers. Be nothing left when I'm done. Just the screams of a giant. Something all right, well, I'm just going to go with all the scouts. Ooh, Daring Poro. I had Dawn Speakers for that. The quiet of the woods, there's nothing like it. Don't think that saves my opponent. We got this one. And Genevieve's already like really good as a 4-4. That card as a 5-5 five five is gonna be nuts. Words move hearts and armies. I'll show a pain. Alright, Dawn Powder. Get in the first game. Even though we never really did anything with powders or with Dawn Speakers. <laughs> That means you're a good deck. Whenever your namesake cards don't show up and you still win. I love it when you're on one health, they have a bigger board and more health, so they let you hit them on your attack, and then you play Rex after they emote spammed you. Did the Rex clear up the board for you? Ooh, we're playing against Burn. It's a good Burn hand, going Gun, Speakers, Navigator. Good burn hand. Prepared for anything. <laughs> yeah, it did. Rex cleared up the board for you. Very nice. Oh, I can't wait. Got your back. Well, I was planning on playing hired gun. Then you had a bunch of Katarinas the next turn to win. Awesome. Yeah, we just can't take that damage. I wish I could vulnerable the Teemo. That would have been ideal. But I think that I'm navigating it next turn. Okay, okay. Elusive. Blocks Teemo. No. Hmm. Okay, well. 
That's an easy one. Sweet. I love how people are so scared of these power kegs. I love how scared people are of these these powder kegs. Like that's been like our, our best thing. It's just been like the more powders are just eating the removal spells, even though they don't do anything. And it's been pretty awesome. Take another three points here. Yeah, you never know what hit him. How you doing? I wish we could play Dawn Speakers as well. But alas, we cannot. If they if they keep theirs alive somehow, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, it's not a big deal. I I like that Mystic Shot killing that instead of killing me because, again, we have the Genevieve. And that should be able to take down Boom Crew, both Genevieve and Tracker. We need to stop drawing Puff Caps. No more Puff Caps. Yeah, Powder Keg, low key MVP. Fervor is so good. Two, three, four. I have my orders. I surrender. All right, one and one. Teemo got us. Could never kill the Teemo. All right, we're just gonna keep this again. Looks like I should have, you know, like I kept Dawn Speakers in my opener and I just never played it. So I guess I should have Mulligan the Dawn Speakers. I was thinking the 1-4 body would be a good blocker, but we just always had other things to do instead. Yeah, I don't I don't mind burn at all. I I don't mind that deck. 
One bit. I think, I think you need to have, you know, an, a playable aggro deck, like, you know, that kind of aggro deck. You know, does it need to be as dominant as it was before, but it needs to be playable. It needs to be able to win some games, because uh, otherwise everything will just slow down a whole lot. Four four, cheater. Playing four fours. Ooh. Dawn speakers, huh? Hmm. So many different things to do. I'm gonna go Dawn Speakers. Love ya. I know what lurks in the shadows. Dawn Speakers. Dang, they had all three Elise. Our allies did not fall in vain. You won't suffer long. I think I'm gonna block here. Yeah, we got we got higher guns to be able to challenge stuff. Sweet. I am very glad that's not four damage coming at my face. I am happy with that. Uh, so I could play both higher guns, or I could just play the scouts. Let's play the scouts. Have the scouts start growing. Nothing escapes my watch. Be strong. Be strong to Let me oh yeah, I think it's gonna be a 4-3 now. Yep. Ooh, monkey idol. Monkey idol cool. Attack number two for Misfortune. I probably should have just played the both hired guns immediately how they pass back, because now if they play if they play They Who Endure that's bigger, then I have to challenge They Who Endure. And I'd rather challenge the oh, Elise. Can't quite kill that thing with a single combat. I've 
I'll just get this thing in play also to also pump up with Dawn Speakers. Because our allies did not fall in vain. GG's. Dawn Speakers pretty sweet. And we're two and one. Raven Lee Sin. That's a fun deck. Raven Lee Sin's a fun deck that you can do a bunch of cool little things with. Ah. Uh. Well, that's too bad. That was gonna be fun. New game. Not counting that one, of course. Didn't actually do anything there. Vladimir Brom. You need one more day. You need one more day for until Vladimir Brom starts uh, being even better. Oh man, I hope they play a one drop. Yes. It's just an Omen Hawk, but still. We get to eat that Omen Hawk for free. So one problem about playing a, a Misfortune deck and, you know, all these Make It Rains and everything is we are going to be, um, you know, dealing one damage is, is not great in the face of Braum. That very loud noise was dang a four or five crimson disciple. It's my dog chewing on cans. I had I had chili for <laughs> lunch and I love that I give the dogs the cans and Harvey likes to like they look them out and then she likes to chew all around them and stuff. It's like they're chew toys. All right, anyway, uh, sure I will take a lot of damage I suppose. I mean I guess I could block there I guess. But I have like these Mega Rains to kill the 1-1. One, one. They're going to Transfusion and then kill this. I don't love that. But oh well. Ah, no Transfusion. on the job. Oh, what? Oh, I guess because these both die at round end, it doesn't... Dawn Speaker doesn't trigger? Hmm. That's not cool. That's not cool. I didn't realize that. I needed to attack. Is that all? Press on. Hmm. These Crimson Disciples just make these Make It Rains look so silly. Our allies did not 
We're going to try to kill Braum. Probably won't do a very good job at, at it. I mean, depending if they have... They have a way to pump their Braum. disciples out here. Please, please just don't have any spells. Please let this happen. Yay! Oh! <laughs> More Crimson Disciples. block there. Yeah. So we're blocking there and take I don't have room for two powder monkeys. If I play this monkey, I don't have room for another one. Yeah, you'll you'll see Braum decks a lot at, at least at the beginning. Any anytime cards get buffed, you see them a lot after the patch. I mean, because you know I'll be playing them a lot. Everybody plays them just to kind of see how the new cards, you know, the new cards act. So yeah, you'll see you'll see a lot of Braum decks right away. Okay, that's good. That's good. So basically, my only hope is that single combat with this hired gun works. Ooh, I love having that unyielding spirit. I think. Make it worth my while. It's me going down to zero. Zero, zero. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's my only hope is that single combat works. Because if they just drew, so if they just drew a spell that protects Scar Mother, we're in trouble. I want to just unyielding spear at the hired gun. I guess so. It's kind of big. Come 
Come on, work. Yeah. All right, we got a good, we got a good chance now. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get stuff pumped up by Dawn speakers, are we? I should have played this last turn. Don't really know why I waited. <laughs> yep. Did not need to wait. doing seven damage to them now could have been lethal if I would have just played that last turn but obviously they they block the hired gun it takes seven our, our monkey idols die so slowly with getting the plus one plus one every turn All right. Looks like we got this one. on that single combat. All right, we're three and one. Dawn powder, that was more like Dawn, Dawn monkeys there. Which I guess they're powder monkeys. So yeah, so there we go, see it works. Dawn powder, the, just the powder monkeys, not not powder. Um, you know, not like the, the actual powder, the more powder. Powder kegs. There you go. That's that's what I'm looking at. Not the powder kegs, but the powder. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I know how to do that, Mardigan. Yeah, um, just, you know, I didn't do it that time, but all right. Playing V burn. We're just gonna mulligan at the top end stuff. So this is our our final boss against burn. We did. This was our one a loss earlier. Yeah. First big mission. Hmm. So I don't want to play deck hand because I don't want them to be able to have Boom Crew Rookie. Uh, challenge the, the vulnerable thing. That's not something we really ever want. Make it rain. Would have been really good to draw. That would have been really good to draw, to have with the challenger. So we're taking two from the Curves of Disciple either way. So might as well get a couple of damage on it. Not bad, not bad. Still gonna be kind of tough to win. Still use that make it rain. Fortune favors the bold. The ocean is no place for the weak.
Don't think we're going to be winning this. Drawing zero spells against burn is tough. Like, you know, it's, it's tough to have your units outrace burn because they always have, like, you know, their roll aggro units plus their burn spells. This is our way. It's a tough one to race. Absolutely, Unyielding Spirits will still be playable after the change to fast speed. Absolutely. There's no burst removal, so you can always use it still in response to a removal spell. You can still play your Unyielding Spirit. If it was slow, it'd be something different, but fast, it'd still be just fine. It obviously won't be as good. Burst is really powerful, but it'll still be just fine. Wish we could give Teemo vulnerable. Like this, us being at eight, them th these three cards in hand. Yeah, this we're dead. This is exactly how last game went too. Just knocked in fervors, killing us. And nothing, nothing for me to stop him. Darn. These cards do anything. We have a single combat. Anything, any spell. So we needed. We needed one one spell to stop a noxion fervor or that demolitionist. And the previous game we needed a spell to stop the two noxion fervors. But both times, same thing. So anyway, so as long as you don't play against Burn, <laughs> it looked pretty good. Went three and two. All of the scout stuff. Um, you know, Dawn Speakers with Powder Monkeys um, gives us a, a different uh, angle besides just the regular Powder Kegs, which we didn't really do too much with the Powder Kegs. Oh man, make it rain. You would have been so good to have that entire game. Oh, that was the card that we needed. Um, but anyway... Yeah, I uh, played played really well. Um, I think I uh, didn't do a whole lot with Gangplank. It would probably be better to play Quinn than Gangplank to pair with all the scout things and you know just give you uh, two things to pump up, give you another Valor, which Valor is a, a good uh, creature to kind of sacrifice to be able to trigger your Dawn Speakers. Um, but you know we were trying for the we we're going for powders. That was what our meme deck was all about there. All right, so that's Dawn Powder. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always appreciate those too. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Dawn Powder, and I'll see you for the next video.